Yo, what's up, YouTube? What's going on? I'm, I'm sitting here in the motel. It is 1.52 p.m. What I'm waiting for, the drug screening to come back before we could go on. So they could go ahead and get me in a truck and I could go make some money. 1.52 p.m. When the drug street come out, basically I get approved, and then um, they called me, and I got to do every, go back to the terminal and, and do all the paperwork and stuff. Pick the truck out, see which one I want, and go from there. It is 1.52, 1.53 p.m., and I'm still at the motel waiting for the call. I am a little frustrated. I don't have patience. That's one thing about me. I don't have patience. But I am frustrated because I ain't never been to a job when it takes this long. I've never been to a job it took this long. And it is a, it is frustrating. I feel like going home, but there's nothing at home to me to go to because I do not want to continue working for my buddy, cousin, and it's slow. Now, if we were still making money, if I was still doing hitting making $1,500 a week, no problem. I would have been, um, I don't, I probably would have still leave, but I would have been going back home by now. And it's the frustrating thing that, you know, you waiting for this right here and I never experienced this in my life, sitting here waiting. I, I called a recruiter, recruiter early. They said they basically waiting for the results. And they supposed to get back to me. I ain't hear nothing back from them. So basically I'm going to wait about 4 o'clock and call back the recruiter and say, you know, what's the deal? If I had to drive down here, I would have been heading back to Maryland. But for what? I, just, I was, was going to tell you, man, this, for my truck to break down, this was the worst thing that ever happened to me because... I could have still be making money, even though thing for Amazon is closed. It was slow. I had other accounts to make good money. And it was the worst thing. You know, the people probably come and get the truck. So it's pretty much I can't save the truck unless I hit the lottery today. <laughs> you know, I hit the lottery. And... I'm going to tell you right now, if you buy a truck or vehicle, anything, and you have to get Dakota Finance to finance anything, do not go with them. Do not go with them because that finance company don't give a damn about your problems. They, they know that it's a pandemic and you can't get parts for your vehicle. They don't give a shit. They would not work with you, and they would talk to you any kind of way. So my goal is to make money off this company, hopefully get a loan. They'll let me uh, do an early buyout 
on this truck and I get, you know, and I could just be a basic owner operator. This, this is, this is, this is real frustrating. You sitting in the motel. I don't need no trainer. I just need to get every, get, get to a level one, what they call it, level one driver and, um, get in the truck, pick a truck out and I can start rolling. And now you're looking at it, it's just getting late now. I don't want to get a truck in a truck now. I've been up all day, so I might have to start in the morning. So I'm going to call about 4 o'clock to the recruiter and say, okay, I'd like to know what's going on and see what they say because I haven't get a call. You know, I don't know they call in the hotel room. I mean, they should be calling your cell phone. You know, so... I don't know what's going on, y'all. I don't know what's going on. I do not know. So, I'm going to go out and walk downstairs a little bit, see if the drivers down there, talk to them, see what they say. And, um, yeah, I don't know what's going on, man. This, 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 is, this is, to me, making me... me Really, kind of making me second guess what I move, but this is the move that I, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm thanking God let me in to get this job and and get and do this, you know, and 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 then I'm hearing bad things about the, this company, about the lease purchase deal, that is really I'm scared because I, already, if, you know, not say I, fail, you know, I fail. Because my truck broke down. So me, it's like it's failure. Even though it's not my fault, it feels like it's my failure. Because y'all see my videos, y'all know my hopes and plans for it. And it, and it didn't come true. And now I'm trying to do this to try to get my, my back on my feet. Because the simple fact is, man, you know, I want to make money. I want to make a nice life. And I want to get out of Maryland and move to Florida. There's a woman down there that, you know, we should have been married by now. And we've been talking, we've been talking. I like to get close to her, and hopefully that it had turned out that we can we can try to get things back on track. But it's not only for her, but the fact I, I just always want to move to Florida. Y'all y'all know what I did my video. When I got my truck. I said I want to move to Florida. Cause I think Florida is the best place to go at. Well, you know, you got your own business. So, I don't know what's going on, man. I just, I just don't know what's going on. Hopefully, I get a call or I call. I'm going to call. At, this is 2 o'clock now, so I'm going to call 4 o'clock. I'm going to call my recruiter and see what's going on. So, let me go. I'm going downstairs, see if I see some drivers. Talk to them because I'm sitting up in this room and I'm bored. And there's nothing on TV. <laughs> you know, so continue liking my videos, continue subscribing to subscribe and hit that bell notification. My share, get it out there because like I told you, man, on this journey, I'm taking y'all on this journey with me. And hopefully at the end of the journey, there'll be a very happy road for me. Remember put God first. Talk to him and you down and you feeling bad, talk to him. Jesus is always listening. And hoping hope in 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 his will that he's gonna give you that blessing. Peace.